Welcome back to Techniki Speaking. Today we're getting a first look at the Panasonic AGCX10, the industry's smallest and lightest camcorder. Did I also mention there's an onboard light that goes from 30% to 100% real quick? Gosh, getting to see a camcorder this size in person just brings me back. I have to share a personal story. I started off as a student journalist and reporter back at Aggie TV at my alma mater, UC Davis. Go Aggies. This is Nikki Sun with Aggie TV. We're back here at Merak Hall with an update on fee increases where students are prepared to stay here all night and willing to get arrested. The doors have just opened here at Freeborn Hall and we are about to witness one of the most epic breakdancing battles of the year. And I remember we used to shoot with the DVX100 HVX200 on these mini DV tapes and it was such a clunky camera and to see such a tiny body that has so much power I truly think this is a really all-in-one for all you multimedia journalists and reporters out there not only does this shoot in 4k at 60 frames per second you can also get up to 120 frames per second at 1080p Another beautiful feature about this camcorder that us who utilize DSLR cameras do not get is constant autofocus and zooming capabilities when you're zooming from 25 to 600 millimeters of focal length that's built into this camera. Utilizing the smart technologies, you're able to really get a constant focus as you're zooming. Did I also mention that in this tiny body is also a built-in Wi-Fi module? That's right, so there's no need for a separate wireless LAN module in order to stream to platforms such as YouTube or Facebook. There's also an SDI port and an HDMI port. Some other cool features, well, you have a built-in lens cap. For those of you who are shooting in broad daylight, there are three built-in ND filters on this side. You do have a flip screen, and yes, a true flip screen for those of you who want to see yourself when you're doing on-camera reporting or journalism or interviews, and it's also touch screen. You do have two SD card slot readers on the side and highly recommend UHD cards. You have your white balance, user modules, and on the back, as mentioned, I have an SDI port, an HDMI port, and a headphone jack. And in the front, you also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack as well, an onboard light so you don't need Need to bring any extra light honestly the light on this is super powerful and I'll put footage of me filming in the dark this is no light this is the onboard light from zero all the way up crazy welcome to my set guys and the biggest thing, especially for reporters and those of you who run and gun with audio, you need proper audio. And the beautiful thing about this camcorder is you can see there are two XLR inputs for your mic channels. And you can definitely control them individually on the other side. And it's 48 kilohertz, so it's gonna give you that proper audio sound versus just having to plug in straight to a 3.5 millimeter mic input. You get professional audio recording here. This is Nikki Sem with Tech Nikki Speaking, currently testing one of two XLR audio inputs on the Panasonic AG CX10. Now, if you don't want to use proper XLR cables or the onboard light that goes from 30 to 100%, it's super, super bright, you're able to just unscrew it and then pull this part off and you're still able to utilize this camera as is. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review and the first look at the Panasonic AGCX10. I truly think this camcorder is going to be a game changer for future multimedia journalists, live streamers, documentarians, and I truly wish we had this back when I was reporting at Aggie TV. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and comment for more videos just like these. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! You've heard of the Three Musketeers, Charlie's Angels, and the Powerpuff Girls. But tonight comes another dynamic trio that you better watch out for. The Asian American Association and hundreds of students have gathered here tonight to welcome back Wong Fu Productions. I'm sitting with one of the coolest trios ever. 
uh, Wesley, Ted, and Philip from Wong Fu Productions. Welcome back to UC Davis. You're showing brand new short films tonight. Could you tell us a little bit about them? 